So what's it feel like getting 19 carries in a big win today? Um, it feels very good. Uh, it just shows all the hard work that I've put in during the offseason. Um, it just feels really great for us to get this team win today. So I'm, I'm very proud of myself. What did you see on that big 68 yard run? Um, they had they didn't have any defensive end over there. It was just a, a corner, but he shot very wide. So I knew if I kept it skinny, um, I was going to break out, and that's what I did. Hey, Antoine, coming off a tough loss last week to Michigan, what did you guys think of in the locker room to get ready for this game and, and about what you had to do? Um, we knew we should have pulled off with that one uh, last week. Um, and after last week, we still toe to toe with the big former Big Ten champ. So um, we know we're a very good team. Um, and going to this week, we just really was trying to keep our minds right um, as far as like not thinking about the last game, putting it to the side, and just working hard for us to be one and zero this week. How long have you been the baby bus? Um, since about eighth grade. Yeah. Yeah. So what's it take to be a bus, and what's it feel like running over those defensive backs? Um, just being a bruiser, um, getting the extra yards, uh, the contact that you know some running backs may not want to, to get throughout the game. Um, I really pride myself on getting those extra yards and converting those for those first downs and helping the team so that we can score on those drives. Ask Locks the same question, but this is now two straight years. This program's gone four and one. Um, you know. You said yourself going toe to toe with Michigan last week, taking down Michigan State by two scores today. I mean, what, what do you think about where this program's at in terms of where this program's trying to go and maybe locks his vision for it coming to fruition? Um, he's just really been preaching as far as his consistency with us. Um, and we've been doing that throughout the week. Uh, my motto is just win Monday through Friday. And um, you win Monday through Friday, it shows on Saturday. So um, Coach Locks, he knows what he's doing. Um, and we believe in him, we're right behind his back, and he has all just like, you know, anybody else would. With Viner Forgates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Forgates for making your company work is our primary mission. Seems like in the backfield, you guys have kind of a three-headed monster going on right now in the running game. What can you say about just how, how much success you guys have had on the ground? Um, we're very young. Uh, like I said, we're very young, so um, it's uh, we're hungry. So we're just trying to, uh, we're very unknown. Like I said earlier, we're very unknown. Um, no one's really expecting anything from our running back group. So we're just here to just show everyone what we can do and just stay inconsistent uh, so we can keep being one and all every week. On that note, what's the dynamic like as a running back room where it's one day it's your game, another day because you're this game and yeah. Say it again. What's the dynamic like in the running back room where it could be your your game one day and the next week could be Roman's game and you just, can you talk about your relationship um, in, in the running back group? Yeah, we feed off of each other. It's, it's not, like I said uh, before, um, it's not really any starters. It's more so who's hot. Um, and if you're hot, you're going to be the guy to play. Um, but me and Roman, we both contribute uh, a lot to the offense. And Coach Locks, he, he trusts both of us to go in there and then do our jobs. And the only thing our job is to do is go out there and do our job and, and execute. Is there anything different? I know you played a lot of linebacker before. In the way you think about a game being a running back versus playing linebacker? Say it one more time. Is there anything different in the way that you play a game as a linebacker than a running back? Is there any difference in the, the level of violence, the level of effort? Uh, yeah, um, I played linebacker in high school, so I, I know you know certain techniques that the linebackers are probably taught and um, and causing things like that. So I use that to my advantage to you know if a linebacker is scraping over the top very um, very hard, you now I cut it back real quick, or uh, it could be the other way around if he's stuffing a hole, I'll be able to bounce it to another hole. So. Um, I just really use my instincts. That's about it. Jumped in late. It, uh, you guys began with a bang, back-to-back -back drives where you guys were able to get touchdowns. What was the key early? What was the focus uh, early to offensively? Um, just executing. Uh, we knew today it was. We thought it was going to be raining uh, at the beginning of the game, so we knew today was going to be a, a run-heavy game. Um, so we already had our minds prepared for us to, you know, to take the load and for us to um, go out there and execute those run plays. Um, we just put our head downs and um, we just told Coach Lockett, you know, we got you, you know, just give us the rock and we'll take care of everything else.
the ability to move the chains early. It seemed like Talia was operating at one speed and everybody else was a step slower. It just, like, if you could uh, expand just on, on the day that he had to start. Um, like I said before, Leah, you know, he, he, he um, found out some tough news yesterday. Um, and especially playing that quarterback position, it's kind of hard keeping your mind level-headed when you're going through things like that. Um, like I said before, we just tried our best to, you know, keep him as happy as we could and keep him uh, as focused on our game plan going into this week against Michigan State. And I feel like we did a very good job of it. And it felt like on those first two drives, a couple of those throws, it, he was going to option B, option C as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, was that the case? We, we... Um, pretty much at the quarterback position, you see what you see. Um, and Leah, he's very good at doing that. He, he'll deliver you the ball. Um, I trust Leah with all with everything in me. So, whatever decision he makes, I'm with him 100. percent Talk a little bit about you know the offense when you guys have the run game going and Leah has the pass game going. Just how hard are you guys to stop? Say it one more time. When Leah has the pass game going and you and Roman and all the backs have the run game going, how hard is the offense as a whole to stop? It's very hard. Um, if the passing game and the receivers are doing what they're supposed to do, and Leah is keyed in with those guys and they're all connected and. We're keying in with the old line and we're able to do our jobs. It just makes us an unstoppable offense. Um, and Coach Enos, he does a great job of calling their plays, is honest. Anything behind the number 31, is that something you picked or did they give that to you? Um, no, I, I received that number when I came in as a freshman. It's been said that October is moving month and it's you, know, it's you guys are going game by game, but how huge was it to get the victory today and not have a losing streak and, and bounce back from last Saturday's loss where you guys played well but didn't get the W. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was it's, it was definitely, we're definitely happy about getting a dub this weekend. Like I said, our motto is winning Monday through Friday. Um, and we trust in the process. Um, we go out there and we practice our bus off throughout the week. Um, and our preparation, we preparate real hard. So. Going on to those Saturdays, the only thing, like I said before, is only to stay focused and, and be keyed on your keys for uh, for the game and, and to go out there and execute. And we all we don't have no jitters or no nervousness or anything like that because we all trust in each other. Yeah. Was it? A, oh. I'm, I'm sure you've been asked this, but on that long run, um, what was it like when you see the end zone and kind of getting soft shot? What's going through your mind? There? Say it one more time. On, on your long run, when you guys stopped it short at the end zone, what was going through your mind there? <laughs> yeah, I was I was pretty upset. Um, I, I felt like I was I had a little bit more in the tank for me to finish that run. Um, I probably took probably about two carries, tough uh, two tough carries before that play. So um, I really gave it all in me on that play. So um, and then on the goal line, you know, O line was was very successful all game. Uh, our quarterback was in touch at all, so we was very good in pass protection. Um, and that's one of the things that we really, I'm sorry, but that's one of the things that we really um, focus on is our pass protection. Um, I feel as though from last year's group to this year's group, we've really improved a, a whole lot when it comes to the pass protection. Um, on the goal line, you know, it's just the, the O-line, they they do their jobs like they're supposed to, and, and we'll, we'll just continue to keep getting better. And with Talia having been through the last 48 hours that he has, what's he like on the field? Like, where was his headspace? Like, how was he able to do what he Lee is very good at quieting out all the distractions when he's on the field. He's, um, you can tell in this game, he's he's really he gets level-headed in, in when it's in a when he's in the game and he's in that mode. Um, you don't really have to tell him too much. And when you're just out there on that field and you're playing the game that you love, you you know your energy is just naturally goes into it, and that's Lee. You seem pretty much the same as you would in Lee. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You kind of came into the season known as the power sure. back, short yardage. How good does it feel to kind of show everyone that you can break off those 68-yard runs like you did today and you did earlier in the season? It feels very good because, I mean, this is what I've been preparing myself for. This is what I've been working all all season for. Um, Coach Artie and the rest of the staff, the coaching staff, um, the strength and, co strength and conditioning coaching staff has got me right to this point. And I'm just here to help the team win um, and contribute and, and to show everyone what I can do. Before that sequence down at the goal line, you guys had multiple third and shorts that you guys were able to convert. How encouraging is it, especially as you guys get into the teeth of the Big Ten schedule, to know that you guys can make those plays, you guys can sustain those drives? Yeah, like I said before, it's, you just got to get back in the lab and we'll go through everything that we probably, you know, there's probably some mistakes on plays. Not everyone does everything correctly 100%. 
Um, so we just got to get back into the lab. Um, like I said before, the O-line does a tremendous job when it comes to run blocking and, and pass protection. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll correct it on Monday. When the defense comes out in the third quarter, a couple three and outs, four, four play drive, how comforting is that for you guys as an offense? You know you can be on the field pretty much the whole time with the game in your hands. Yeah, because uh, if, if we really take the momentum. The defense helps us uh, gain the momentum. Um, and we're able to just go out there and just do our jobs, and it just makes it easier for us to go out there and score.